What are you doing? I'm building a moat right now. What do you mean you're building a moat? I couldn't get onto Duck Island, so I'm building my own island. So, I built a moat. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Today is the day we dig. Hey Sanctuary fam, so here we go. Here's what we're gonna do. We got Duck Island here, we got our Duck Lake, and we are going to build the duck houses today. So what our plan is, is we're gonna put some duck houses here along this area, and we're gonna fence this whole thing in, and we're gonna close it all with a big net. And uh, what we wanna do is we got this excavator over here, and I'm going to bring it over here and I'm going to dig this area out over here and I'm going to make this lake like a shallow wading pond for the ducks. So when we have the houses over here, they have an area to go into the lake and then this whole thing will be netted. All right, so I've been waiting for this all day since I went and picked this thing up. I want to drive the tractor. Actually, this is an excavator. It's a pretty cool piece of machinery and I am going to go tear some stuff up. All right, it's giving me a warning. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. Make sure everything is good. Nope, something ain't right. I'm gonna start right here in this area first. The idea is we're gonna build like a pond over here so that the, uh, the ducks have somewhere to hang out in unless they wanna go out into the deeper water. Commence with the scooping. All right, so I started digging this little area out for the ducks. It's a very shallow area. I didn't want it to be too deep. So, uh, you know, it's just gonna be probably about two feet down. So the water's about a foot deep or so. And uh, basically we had this uh, leftover pallet here from one of our feed orders. So we went and repurposed that into the seawall for this duck area right here. And uh, we just took some of these boards slammed them down in the hole there with the excavator, worked out perfectly. And then we just backfilled it and uh, just used it kind of as a retaining wall so the dirt just didn't fill into the hole. Okay, what are we doing? Uh, this is ADA, right? Which is another duck area. So it's ADA compliant for our challenge ducks. And then this, in the other duck area over here, we're gonna have twin merging beaches. <laughs> so you got the Pina Colada beach and you got the Sunset beach. And then, Floating in the middle of nowhere on pilings, we're going to have this big, gorgeous house with a protective roof. And so the birds are going to go into the beach house. They're going to come out of the beach and sun and spread their wings on the morning beach. They're going to have worm cocktails as they float around. And then in the afternoon, they're all going to have social gatherings and they're going to go on duck talk. That's where all the ducks talk to each other. So we're building that today. That's what we're building today. So now that we have our little cove built with our seawall, we're gonna smooth out the edges here, make it all nice and flat, and we're gonna lay down rubber mats here, make it a, a nice little shallow wading area for our injured and special needs ducks. And it'll also be perfect for sun tanning. Modeling. Hey. Next, we put up the supports for the netting. We had these four inch pipes that were here on the property when we bought the place. So we figured we'd just repurpose them and use them for the netting since we already had them. You could see the other Kevin here watering them in to make sure they grow to our specification. Is that a jar of dirt? Is that a jar of dirt? We're only gonna go eight feet tall because your net's gonna only go eight feet tall. I know this really cool dude. He used to get the palm tree coconuts from okay. way up top. Well, we don't want to <laughs> go up there. We can have him climb up the poles for you us. You don't have pterodactyls. <laughs> so we're going to go eight feet high, which is just right here. Okay. okay. You can go this high if you reach. When we have this laying on the ground, we're going to cut the pole like this. I'm going to cut a little horseshoe out of here on both sides. I'm going to have two flanges. And they're going to be there? curved. It's going to be on the ground. When I, I'm going to have a pipe. The end of it's going to look like this. And I'm going to put it on here, hammer it, all wrapping it flat with two sides. Screw, screw, screw with the aluminum self-tappers. And I got it. It's, it's, it's using its own metal to tap to itself. It's going to go there, 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 there. 
this middle pole is your flag pole and you're going to have your bar going there too but i'm also going to put another pole right here that size or smaller probably smaller i'd like this pole to go underneath this now i have a door <laughs> so here i had to get into the water put these posts down get my slamming game on and uh, basically we just wanted to make it safe for the uh, ducks that were going to be living inside this this area here make sure the predators couldn't swim in from the outside and actually get into their uh, enclosed area over here so uh, so we just fenced it off all right so he is digging out the beach they're putting up fencing and netting to block in the area these guys are trimming it out making it look pretty all right so it's like eight o'clock at night right now you guys are still working we're digging out this area of the beach and Kevin is creating little islands out of piles of mud so that the ducks can come sit up on top of these islands and this will be their whole little cove area and it's coming off of our bigger lake right here. So it's raining, it's late, still working. I couldn't get onto Duck Island, so I'm building my own island. So I built a moat. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> oh my gosh, this man really just tore up half the yard to make a moat. Okay, so I guess when he said he wanted to tear some stuff up, he really meant it. <laughs> it's a. Uh... Pretty cool piece of machinery, and I am going to go tear some stuff up. This is like 500 feet long. <laughs> I mean, this is just absolutely insane. And now I feel like our injured and special needs duck area that we were working on before, he got derailed to digging a whole moat should be built to like look like a whole castle or something now to match his whole moat. <laughs> 
you guys heard him though. He said he was only going to do a little shallow wading beach area. I'm going to dig this area out over here and I'm going to make this lake like a shallow wading pond for the ducks. So when we have the houses over here, they have an area to go into the lake and then this whole thing will be netted. It's the creativity for me. <laughs> I mean, he just created a whole lazy river for the ducks. I love it. He said he wanted a duck island. He made a duck island. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder how he comes up with these ideas though. I mean, seriously. <laughs> Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? <laughs> so while they're over there making fun of him for getting stuck i got stuck too but me being the expert excavator driver that i am you know i didn't have any problem doing the little shimmy shammy wiggle wobble and you know it may look like i didn't know what i was doing but i was able to strategically maneuver my way back onto land and then I came to the rescue, of course, to get him out of this hole. Bada bing, bada boom, a couple little pushes and shoves, and this guy's out of the mud. So, you know, we continued playing over here in the mud, and we just kept digging and digging and digging, and we just uh, built this little island over here for the ducks where one of the houses is gonna go. We got this beautiful little lagoon here where they'll be able to come in and just kind of hang out and uh, it'll be perfect for the ducks to live. All right, he's about to open up the moat. water isn't gonna like rush through like I think it's going oh wait 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 just kidding here we go here we go <laughs> all right we got a little bit of water rushing still not quite what I thought oh wait there it goes there it goes So this is Duck Island. It's not totally finished just yet, obviously, but this is where we're at now. We've got a moat coming in through this side of the lake and wrapping all the way down and coming back out into that side of the lake. We've got islands right here for the ducks to sit on and eventually there will be a netting going all the way across the top um, of this whole entire area so that we can have this um, safe environment to keep our animals um, protected from predators and it will all be um, fenced in and netted in and it will just be this giant aviary oasis so the ducks will come in through this side of the lake and they can float all the way down their little lazy river and be able to swim all the way out to the other side so most people would probably just let their ducks have access to the lake to be able to swim in um, but we have a ton of predators here uh, snapping turtles hawks snakes all sorts of stuff oh look at this the horses must have walked through here earlier got all the hoof marks in the ground 
the horses. Oh, except this one. <laughs> That's a little Eeyore hoof print. <laughs> a little donkey hoof. Um, but anyway, like I was saying, we have all sorts of predators, so we just want to keep these animals as protected as possible. So that is why we are netting this all in um, and trying to uh, create our own little island. That area over there is so that we can have another separated little area. So ideally, we could separate our special needs animals. Um, we could separate the females. We could separate the males. Um, we could kind of set it up whichever way we need. Uh, we're definitely going to create some cute little bridges going over the moat right here um, for a little magic, of course. <laughs> and then this is our special needs and injured duck area. Not finished yet, still needs to be netted and everything. I'm thinking maybe we call this place like Keeper's Lagoon or something cute like that in honor of our special needs duck keeper, of course. How cute would it be if we got like a banner flag and hung it up at the very top of this really, really tall pole in the middle with like a picture of Keeper on it that says Keeper's Lagoon or Duck Island, something like that. That'd be so cute. <laughs> All right, let me give you a tour of the inside of Keeper's Lagoon. Um, so we tried to keep a lot of grass area for them. We're still working on finishing the housing and building out more housing, um, but we tried to just create a nice shallow wading pool area where they could fully submerge themselves under the water, but um, still be able to get in and get out easily. And then we added, um, mesh and chicken wire and fence panels to be able to block out any predators like turtles or anything like that from being able to get in here inside of their little area. We also need to add a pump and a fountain to help keep the water filtered and kind of pushing the water back out into the lake so that it doesn't get stagnant. So yeah, that is Keeper's Lagoon coming right off of our natural lake. I can't wait to get the netting up and get it all finished up so that we can get the ducks in here. So it's pretty cool. Everything that we're walking on right now is a little island that he created. And then this area over here is another little um, shallow inlet that he created to be a section where we can separate more ducks um, if we need to. So that's Duck Island. I can't wait to get it finished and get the ducks out here.